Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. Well, it is the lazy, hazy days of summer and we are feeling it here on the Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide, but that's okay because for this guide series, we are going to just walk. We are bringing you different walk variations for you to embed into your normal West Coast Swing. And that's a great thing because not only is it chill if it's just too warm outside to do a lot of fast dancing, but it also introduces negative space and texture into your dance. So for week two of the guide, we're going to be talking about walk extensions. We're going to demo the basics and then show you how to add a little variety to these extended walks. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Breaking this down for our leaders. At the beginning, those initial walks, what I'm thinking about is I'm moving backwards, but I don't want my follower to catch up to me. So I'm almost projecting with my connection, stay away, stay away. Like imagine you're like holding up in your other hand a stop sign. So I'm thinking about I'm going back, yes, but I don't want you to come too far forward just yet. Versus my typical lead where I'm stepping back, but I'm also encouraging my follower to come forwards towards me. When I'm doing those walks forwards after our redirection moment, I'm not thinking about anchoring and then walking forwards. That can feel a little bit misleading to the follower. And I'm also not thinking about setting like a really clear post here on four and then moving it forwards because again, that can feel somewhat unsettling. What I'm thinking about doing is even on four, I'm giving the follower the sensation that we're gonna continue moving. We can do these forward walks in slight compression or slight stretch, either one works. But either way, I wanna be consistent within the walking and I wanna give my follower the sense that we're moving continuously through the walking. Followers, you'll notice that if a leader walks forward in this extension, they are not following through with their arm. They'll walk with their body and they'll use their body to lead. But unlike in this compression moment, when the arm follows through, that will not happen if this is an extension. Additionally, as we walk backward, it's most likely that the arm and the body will not reach, as Matt had said, that anchored point where the arm is more extended than normal, and then we've got the anchoring of the body. So be aware of those cues. And if you have trouble following them, you find yourself, you know, as a leader extends, rushing in and missing that cue, try doing this with a partner you trust and closing your eyes. If you close your eyes, you will be able to more readily tune into the kinesthetic moments that are happening between the two of you, sensing, okay, my leader is not anchored, and now my leader is anchoring. Now, we wouldn't necessarily dance these just as basic walks, because that can look like, especially leaders when we're going forward, like we made a mistake and we let our follower pull us, or maybe like we're not entirely sure of our basic timing. So we might choose to dress these walks up a little bit. Now, just some, for some variety here, because we're dancing all push breaks, I'll be on this side, we can dress our walks up with different types of variations in our styling. These can be rhythmic, uh, these can be pitch related in terms of how we hold our body, and these can also, of course, be footwork variations. So if we do something like a rhythm change, this can look like... If we do something like a pitch change, Normally, it's not a good look to pitch backward, but as long as you're countering your own body and are not pulling on the partner, this can work really nicely for extensions. And finally, something like a footwork change. So if we did moonwalks and chugs, and then in the reverse, moonwalks and chugs, that can be fun too. And finally, of course, you want to pair this with the mood, music, your mood at the time, what your partner is capable, what feels good and looks good on your body, and you might even partner some of these variations with another, like using sweeps, a footwork variation, with a pitch back. And then sweeping back again. That was your guy. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and check out our website and online store link in the description. See you soon.